The NFL on EA Sports brings us to North Carolina and Bank of America Stadium here in Charlotte. Today we've got an NFC South matchup as it'll be the New Orleans Saints taking on the Carolina Panthers. set to get us going and we are underway here in Charlotte from his end zone here's Rashid Shaheed and they'll get him down right at the 25 yard line so the same result had he opted for the touchback They start the drive on the ground. Kamara. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. A good start. One play, 10 yards. Good sign here early. Everybody on offense there up front in the backfield in sync on that play. So much talk about what do you do to neutralize home field advantage? Well, teams that run the football effectively, they often have a way of neutralizing it in a big way when they have those types of runs. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. From the gun, Winston. Finding Taysom Hill complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 43. Last play, they got stuffed at the line. Different story here, over 20 yards. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 43. Off the play fake, Winston. He completes it to Olave. Touchdown, New Orleans. Chris Olave, 43 yards. And the Saints are on the board first here this afternoon. Well, Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. They start on the ground here at Sanders. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second down, Young. And he's taken down here by the Saints. Cameron Jordan in there to get him. It's a loss of five. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Being chased out left. Now throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. And we're going to see this offense try and spread the field a little bit and utilize the outside third of the field, especially against man coverage. But that time, the defense was up to the task, forcing the incompletion. He's got his target. That's complete. Now inside the 25. Adam Thielen. Touchdown, Panthers. Adam Thielen. 78 yards. And the Panthers are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. That certainly went against the traditional ways of playing football, but who cares? Look at the result. Big touchdown. They went for it on their own side of the 50. So there's conservative, there's aggressive, and there's really aggressive, which is what we just saw there. Tip of the cap to them. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown 
On their last time out, look and repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Today's NFL is all the time about stretching the field and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. That's a nice run probing now early to try and get things done later. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. Throwing Winston. There's a short one to the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be out of bounds up near the 45 at the 44. From the 44-yard line, here's a second and seven. Winston again, it's Kamara. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make the play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. 7-7, seven, seven, our score after one. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 46. Jameis to throw it. He gets it left side of Johnson. They find some open field here. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They run it again with Kamara. And here he'll get it down to the 7. From the 7, it's second and 5. Winston. And this is going to be intercepted. And nothing but daylight ahead. And the Panthers are going to get the football here at their own 23. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points are given away? It could cost them a ball game. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a great first down. Although his reputation as a speedy runner precedes him, it's always fun to watch him run. It is eye-opening, isn't it? Because when you see him get the ball and just go, in addition to that speed, it helps out his blockers. They don't have to hold blocks for him because he's just going to speed like that. He's been able to get that past the 45. Good coverage downfield led to him taking off, picking up the first down on a 13-yard run. A give running left. It's Sanders. And a good run here as he'll run all the way down to the 40-yard line. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. So in Saints territory now. Here's first and 10 right at the 40. Throwing Young. That is incomplete. Well, that was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. Throw left side on target to Thielen. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. Third and three. Come on, 38. It's Young off play action. They'll roll him out right. 
And that is incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. He needed two. He barely got back to the line of scrimmage. And the Saints will have the football back. They begin with a run by Miller. And he'll get this up only to about the 33. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Winston now. And he whips that one incomplete there. Had an open man that time. Man, to put a little too much heat on it. Think absolutely. Just needed a touch more air in here. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On third down, Miller. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Winston now to throw on first down. And that is incomplete. Wow, the coverage a little too good there. But it's second down. Draw play. This is Miller. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped by the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three. And now a much tougher third down looming. Here's Winston. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slant, and it's intercepted. Still going inside the 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a paper touchdown. So a dangerous pass over the middle into zone coverage, and it bit him hard. And what's really difficult when you throw it in that direction and versus that zone, that means the linebackers have gotten to their spot, gotten their heads back around, and they can see the quarterback and everything in front of them. And they took big advantage of it, went the other direction, had some blocking, and picked up a touchdown. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Saints offense on the field ready to get their drive started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Winston's throw complete there to Perry. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. To throw is Winston. Completes it to Perry. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. Another big gainer, two in succession, as this one goes for 32. Excellent execution, and now they're set up nicely. Are they ever? Red zone? I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after a big play like that, a lot of teams like to use the momentum to launch another one. Final play of the half here, Winston. This is caught, and with a clock reading zeros, he is into the end zone. What an exclamation mark to the end of this second quarter. Indeed, indeed. Well, my education continues in this game. I've got to tell you because there's not an analyst in the world that would have said pass up the field goal here, go for it, and expect for it to be successful, and it was. I mean, they're playing this one just like a video game. <laughs> Especially for the final play of the first half to have the guts to do that. But I guess, what do we say? The end will justify the means, right? No doubt about it. For you and me, we live, we learn.
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put out, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? Young on third down. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. Now Young on fourth down. Dancing to his left. And Young will slide to the ground safely as he picks up the first down as well. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off for the first down. Up the middle they go with Sanders. And a lane slow and materializing there as he'll get maybe a yard up to the 45. On play action, Young. That swung out wide to Sanders. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here is Young. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. Here's Young. They'll indeed go for it. Steps away to his left. He'll let this thing go for Sanders. And that is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And the Saints are going to get it back and in great shape. They'll try to get the offense going with Kamara. Taken down at the 47-yard line. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. So give him two yards there on the completion. And now third down and six to go. They'll run out of the gun with Kamara. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Now Winston. It's complete. Swings it out to his running back. And now this is going to be close. The defense says they stopped him, and they did. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. The drive will start with an option going left. And he gets us to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and 10. First and 10 Running right, here's Sanders. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. And they're going to speed things up here. Second down, back to Sanders. They'll get only a couple down to the 44. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sift through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Flushed out right. Oh, poor decision there, and it's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Paulson Adebo. And the Saints are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. 
So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Getting set for their next drive, the New Orleans offense. And the question, can they turn that interception into points? A tie game for the moment in the fourth quarter. Kamara with a run on first down, but he's fortunate just to get back to the line of scrimmage there. No gain. They go play action. Winston. Buying time to his left. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. The defender certainly didn't forget about him. Looking into the backfield, there's a guy ready and waiting to pick him up in coverage. And that throw, no shot. And they'll run it from the gun with Miller. And a pretty athletic run right there as he's going to get this down inside the 40. And the offense moving quickly to the line. On first and ten, Winston. To the right side, complete to Miller. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate... And this is going to be intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it up. And the Panthers are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. But well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally. And that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Well, they're in some hot water now after that sack. It's second and 21. Off the play fake, Young. Forced out to his left. Open receiver, that's Hayden Hurst, the tight end. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Shotgun snap and then the give to Sanders. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. All three timeouts plus the two-minute warning. Here's first and 10. Now Young rolling to his left. scramble of the day for a big time situation in the fourth quarter picking up the first you don't want to use it up early right you want to make sure you save it for that exact moment that key time and that's what he did although you and i both know it wasn't planned that well but what a nice job using his eyes scanning the field and realizing when it was time to exit the pocket and go another try second and ten now Young being chased out left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Third and long coming up defensively. You pressure the quarterback or drape ball over the passing lane? Yes, that's exactly what you do. It's both because they're not mutually exclusive. They may have been at one time in football, but not anymore. You want to have that pressure. And if you have a big time pass rusher, send him after the quarterback and then make sure you blanket the field. And he'll be taken down well before the first at about the 36-yard line. A big one coming for kicker Eddie Pinheiro. This for the lead in the final stages. And that one's not going to get there. Not enough juice. An ambitious effort, but it's well short. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. This is first and ten. Winston to throw. They set up the screen to Miller. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. 
You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. Little screen pass, back door to them, and that time, they well for a solid game. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job though defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball. They've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All three timeouts still at their disposal. Here's first and ten now. Winston. That's complete to his running back, Kamara. And he'll head out of bounds inside the ten. Mark him down at the nine. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Winston. Now he's got it. And he's in for the touchdown. And in the final seconds, forget overtime. They've just likely won this thing in regulation. And that score... In this time frame, that's like a big reveal at the end of a great movie, isn't it? <laughs> Out of nowhere, almost, it appears. They get it done. How about that score? It finishes like this. This is why we love sports. This is why we love the game of football. So glad that we got to be here to watch this one. back out there to boom this one away maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss from a couple yards deep he'll bring it out of the end zone and the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20 They'll come up first and ten here. Here's Young. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. This ball intercepted. Picked up by Alante Taylor. And the Saints have just about sewn up this football game. Well, this is something we've seen before, partner. We've seen a defense bait a rookie. Pretend to leave a window open, and then the defensive back jumped it as soon as the ball was released. Big time play. They love taking advantage of the youngsters, and in this case, it paid off well. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. Well, this is one of those games where if you win it, it feels...